everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to drive Malotic from Pokemon. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to start with the upper eyelid on the left side. So we're going to start on the outside, curve in, and then down. Now let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start on the inside, and curve up, and then out. Now let's draw on the lower part of the eye. So from the outside, I'm just going to curve down and then up and toward the center. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to tuck the iris and pupil underneath the eyelid. So it's a half circle, starting from the top, circle around, and then back up. I'm going to draw a smaller half circle inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to color the outer part of the iris in black. From here, I'm going to blend the upper eyelid in towards the antenna. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to continue this curve going out, and then I'm going to pull it around. And then just curve it in. Do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the top, we're going to continue that curve going out, and then we're going to swirl that back in. Now we're going to take the tips and just thicken it up as we come back towards the eye. So let's start on the left side. Just going to taper it out and just keep this consistent thickness all the way around and then down towards the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the inside of the antenna we're going to curve up above the eyes and then pull it down behind the antenna. So let's start on the left, we're going to go up and then we're going to pull that out. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then going out. Now we're gonna draw that large spike at the top of the head. So we're gonna start at the top of these curves, go in and then up towards the center. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve up. We wanna leave a little space in between. So we step over, draw a curve coming down towards the right side. Now we're gonna close off the top by connecting these two points with a little half circle. From the outside edge of the eyes, we're gonna curve down and then in towards the center of the head. So starting on the left side, we're gonna curve down and we'll start to pull that in towards the middle. And we're gonna go back up on the right side. We wanna take the top of these fins and continue down the side of the body. So I'm gonna start on the side of the head here. We're gonna curve out and then pull that back in. So curving out toward the left. And we're gonna pull that back in and down. We'll do the same thing on the right. So lining up the top, we're gonna curve down and out towards the right and then we'll pull that in towards the same height as we have on the left. Now let's draw in the little points at the end. From the left side, I just want to curve up and just taper it out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to layer the second point in behind. So from the top, we're going to step down and draw a straight angled line going out on both sides. Now we're going to curve this up the side, going up. Now we're going to draw one more point. So from the top, we're just going to angle down and out. Now these are going to curve around and just go up underneath the antenna. So let's start at the top of the antenna, just down here. We start by going straight down, following that same curve. Now we're tapering out, down towards the outside point. We'll do the same thing on the right. Stepping out from the eye, we'll go straight down, and we taper it outwards, and pull it down towards the outside point. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So the neck is going to come out towards the left and then swirl back around. So let's start just on the right side here by curving down and out towards the left. And as we get towards the bottom, we're just going to hook it back out towards the right. Now let's draw in the left side. So we start the same height just underneath the chin. We curve down and then pull us out underneath this fin. We want to continue the left side of the body coming around behind the fin and then coming out towards the right side and then back around. So let's start by continuing this curve right down here. We're going to curve down towards the lower part of the body, going out towards the right. Now this is going to curve around and then back in behind the neck. So continue around, in behind this fin, and we'll continue over in behind the neck. Now the body's going to turn back around towards the right, towards the tip of the tail. So we're going to start just down here, we're going to curve around and then in behind this fin. We're going to go out, then in behind the fin. Now this is going to continue over on the right side of the neck, 
going across. Now we're gonna pull that up and then it'll go behind this fin and then up to the base of the tail. Now from this point, I wanna step out and draw on the bottom part of the tail. So from here, we're gonna draw a point. We're gonna go wider as we come in behind this fin. So let's curve down, go in behind the fin. Now you're gonna see a little bit of it in between the fin and the body. Now at the base of the tail, we're gonna draw four fins in the shape of a fan. So on the left side, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. Going out, and then we're gonna pull that up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the base of the tail, we'll curve up and then out. Now these fins sort of overlap each other. So we're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna curve down and aim towards the center. Going across and then down to right about there. We're gonna add another one in an angle sort of straighter up here. So at the top, we curve up. Now we're gonna curve this back down, aiming towards the center again. It's there. We're gonna draw another one over this way, pointing towards the right. So stepping down, curve over towards the right, and then we'll pull that in and just go in towards the center. Now from this point, I just want to tuck this in behind this third fan. It's curving across. Now there's four little ovals on the inside of these fans. So we're gonna start on the left side at the top. So we draw a long oval going all the way around and then back up to the top. In behind here, it's gonna get tucked in behind this fan. So we'll start on the side, go up, round it out, come down and then tuck that in. We'll do this one here, starting at the base, go up, down, and now we're gonna pull that right in towards that point there. And then one final one, going up, down. Now we're gonna pull this in so there's a slight overlap on the inside. Let's add that little pattern across the tail here. So starting at the very top, we start on the inside, curving out in an angle. We step down and draw that same curve. Now we wanna draw a little X pattern in here. So we start at the top, come down with a straight line, and we go out with a straight line. And we just wanna thicken this up. So we're gonna step over, come in, and do the same thing with the bottom. Now we're gonna angle these out. Starting from the bottom, we'll go out. And then from here, we'll go in behind the fin. Now right in here, we just want to thicken it up. So we're going up and then down. We want to add another X pattern in here, but we want to give it a little bit of a curve. So we're going to start at the top, curving down towards the center of the tail. Now we're going to curve back in the opposite direction, towards the bottom. Now we're going to step over, draw that same curve, going in towards the center. Now we're going to curve it back up towards the top of the tail. Now from the bottom, we're going to go in the opposite direction, going up. Now we're going to curve it back down. Now we just want to draw on the outside. Stepping out, curve in towards the middle, and then curve that back down. One final one down here, start on the side, curve up in behind the body, step down and draw that twice. Now the final thing I want to do is add a little separation in the antenna. So just above the eye, I'm just going to draw a little curve going across on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's my loaded from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.